Borough come to terms this week with um, a battling draw against Newcastle. I think they'll be disappointed not to win the match. Um, created probably the better of the chances. Um, and it's disappointing, really, with two home games following on the back of such a good win at Aston Villa that Borough didn't capitalise and take more than just the one point. Um, obviously, Bolton's result wasn't a fluke, it looks like, after they've gone to Sunderland and won, but we knew they would be difficult. Newcastle, another team who have been down there all season... Um, and I think most Borough fans would think we've got to put teams like Newcastle to bed. The derby does change things a little bit in so much as it's a high-pressure game with both sets of fans wanting to talk about bragging rights and things like that. So, ultimately, disappointing to not come away with three points, but a point's better than nothing, and now we look ahead to Hull City. A uh, couple of interesting talking points after the Newcastle match, of course, and that's the FA Cup draw, which is um, paired Middlesbrough with Barrow. Uh, that's going to be... A very interesting tie because um, Barrow are really up for the match. They're talking about bringing 5,000 fans across from across the Pennines. And um, that could be a really interesting battle, although they'll feel that their best chance has probably gone with not getting the home tie. Borough traditionally tend to battle their way through these awkward third-round encounters. So um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be big talking points. It could yet end up being a televised match. Um, but it's nice, I think, from a Borough's perspective to have a smaller team at home. I think we'd always prefer that. And let's hope we can have a cup run like last season's, although with a happier ending. Uh, Borough have um, confirmed, following the Gazette story tonight, that they've signed two new players. They've um, arrived. They're not players who'll probably go in the first team, but they will bolster the squad ultimately. And I think there's a highly likely case that, they'll, that Borough are going down the route now of bringing young foreign players in getting them while they're relatively cheap or indeed free and then developing them for two or three years down the line. Those two players are Nemanja Matic and the other guy is Juraj Hovancic. Now, we wouldn't claim to know a lot about these guys other than that they're very promising young players and uh, they've represented their countries at youth levels. Um, but it does show the way Middlesbrough are going now and that is to develop a young talent rather than going out and spending a lot of money of course the Gazette last week revealed that Middlesbrough's debts are over £90 million and while a lot of that's owed to Steve Gibson um, th the belt tightening will continue through into the transfer window we understand so we will see more of these players coming in bolstering the squad potential for the future but not necessarily players who will add to the first team in the next few weeks. Another talking point, Gary O'Neill, will he be fit for the weekend? Gareth's optimistic that he will overcome his hamstring injury. Um, though whether he want to change the midfield after the way Julio Arca played on Saturday remains to be seen. So plenty to talk about, and with the cup tie against Barrow to look forward into the new year, plenty to talk about before Christmas.